such an interesting switch from the book of Leviticus to the book of Song of Songs that we are reading right now, if you're following along on our reading. And um, the, the eighth verse of the second chapter, today's Song of Songs 2, says, Behold the voice of my beloved. See him um, leaping upon the hills and bounding over the mountains. Um, and I think if we're going to be leaping over the hills, bounding over the mountains to get to the fall retreat, then we have to get the screw out of the tire that is in the, my back right of my vehicle, um, apparently, so uh, that I don't have to uh, fill the air every six hours like I have been doing the past week, um, uh, knowing that the tread is probably too small for them to fix it. But they were kind enough to say, hey, well, I know you have a budget of time and money, and let's patch this up the best we can and get you back on the road for a little while. Um, so I was grateful that they were willing to do that um, as I sit here. And I'm just reminded how um, mm -hmm. sometimes we take for granted the, um, our vehicles and the places they take us, the adventures um, that, and the memories that, that are more like Song of Songs where there, there's um, memories of, of, uh, of adventures and love and, um, and being able to really live life, go on road trips, um, go out to dinner, do, do, some, do some fun things. And then there's Leviticus, where you just have to take care of the, the, the nuts and bolts to keep the vehicle running. And that's, that's part of it. That's part of, of uh, keeping your vehicle running. Um, it's also part of our relationship with God, to take care of just the things that we know that God wants us to do in the everyday, um, so that we can turn around and say, wait, let me pause enough to remember how incredibly great God's love is uh, and not take it for granted. And uh, so today, uh, an encouragement as we switch to Song of Songs, it was, it was picked to be in the Bible for a very specific reason. It's not just um, a juicy love story between a uh, man and woman, uh, but also a, um, a, an analogy, an allegory of God's uh, incredible, sappy even, love for all of us. Um, so it's a nice shift from Leviticus, um, where God lays out command after command after command about how to live our lives, and into this reminder, once again, where we can't take for granted how much God just gushes over us and loves us, um, wants to take the, uh, the screw out of the tire and give us an adventure, memories of, of being uh, God's beloved and being God's children. So. An encouragement for you today. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic um, weekend, whether you're able to join us up at Tahoe or not this weekend. And um, But if you are, we'll, we'll see you up there. Look forward to uh, some fellowship time and some play in the water. Uh, take care. <laughs>